Hi, this is Connor McCauley, Application Engineer from Ceratech, and welcome to our Tips and Tricks tutorial series. So today we're going to talk about taking an idealized geometry part and cleaning up in preparation for the FEM and simulation. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our part that we've already created, the simulation and FEM files. Um, and here you have all four files. So we're going to go ahead and open up the idealized part by double clicking on it. And it's going to give us a warning that says you can't actually change anything until you promote the bodies. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And select the promote. Choose our body. And then hit OK. All right, so now the body is promoted and we can make changes to it. So the first thing we're going to do and the tool that I use most often is delete face. And delete face comes with a few different options, but today we're just going to use face. Um, and there's this heel tab that sews the body back together once the faces are deleted. Otherwise, you'll simply delete the face and end up with sheet bodies. So we're going to go ahead and go around and select a few faces here and um, remove those features out of the part. And you'll notice that if you select a face just by itself that um, won't be able to be healed, you'll get a warning. And um, if you have quite a few faces like that, it can take quite a while. So a good thing to do is to uncheck the preview button, go select all your faces, and then check it again to make sure that um, you'll be deleting the faces that you want to delete. So another good thing um, that you can use with delete face is actually a selection tool. Um, there's three different ones, boss or pocket faces, rib faces, and slot faces. So today we're gonna use boss or pocket faces. And we're gonna go ahead and delete out um, this engraving of Ceratech here, as well as the slot above. So as you can see, we can select um, any of the faces inside of this slot or this um, indented text. And it'll go ahead and select all the faces that are associated, as well as just that single face in that slot there. And if we turn off the heel, you can see it just as deleting the faces and not actually filling the geometry in again. So we'll hit OK, and you can see that those are gone. All right, so the next thing we're going to move on to um, is another synchronous modeling uh, feature. And that one is called Resize Blend. So this is useful if you need to change the size of a blend. Um, say you had like a stress concentration, you need to make the radius bigger, that's very helpful. Another very useful tool is Move Face. So in this instance, I'm gonna grab this face here and pull it upwards and it'll adjust all of the faces uh, connected to it. Helpful if you need to make some quick on the fly adjustments without adjusting the original part that you had. So here's the list of all of them if you want to pause and check that out. The next one we're going to use is replace face. So we're going to select the face that we want to move and the replacement face, and it'll essentially do the same thing as delete face, but just with um, less clicks. Go ahead and do delete face and select sling, single face. Um, that way we don't select the entire body or all the bosses. We're gonna go ahead and delete out these chamfers. And then go ahead and continue and select um, all the faces that we have left. As you can see, I did not turn off the preview button because we don't have um, a large number of faces we're selecting. So it's not taking a bunch of time. Uh, but it can be useful when you do have quite a few. And if you do accidentally select um, the wrong face, a good tip is if you hold shift and click the face again, it'll deselect it. And we'll go ahead and finish up with this last cutout here. And hit OK. And so now our I-beam is back to an I-beam without any cutouts. Um, so another feature you can use inside the idealized part is mid-surface by face pairs. So we're going to select the body, 
choose automatically create face pairs. It will choose um, and create the face pairs for us. Hit OK. And there's our mid surface. Another great tool is divide face. So we'll go ahead and take the top face of this I beam and it has body faces selected uh, by default. So we're gonna go ahead and change that actually to single face and select just that face there. And then change the tool option from object to offset curve and face and select this edge here. And then it's trying to choose out into space. So we're gonna go ahead and change the distance and then reverse the direction. And there it goes, dividing the face, go ahead and hit okay. And now we have separate faces um, in case you need to apply different loads to that section or constraints or just section off the geometry while meshing. So here's some more of the geometry preparation tools. So finally, we're gonna use split body. Um, this is helpful for a lot of different situations, um, especially situations that are axisymmetric or you wanted to do some sort of um, split because you know that the constraints will be same across the cut face. So we're gonna choose face or plane and actually have to choose entire assembly to be able to access that plane, hit okay. And now the bodies are split. It does not hide it for you, so you actually have to go back and hide those bodies separately. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching this video on geometry cleanup in an idealized part in SimCenter. And please remember to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tutorials. If you have any suggestions or specific requests for tutorials on topics that you'd like us to create, please add them in the comment section below.